What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today I'm going to give you a couple tips for the collector role to get prepared before the summer update drops. By going through these tips you'll either save yourself time and money and that ends up being very good for you because if you save money you can then reinvest that money back into the collector role which will then give you even more money out or you can go and save your time which means as soon as this summer update drops you'll be able to go straight into that collector role without any problems. With the collector role it is slightly different to the trade and the bounty hunter if we go through the roles already the trader there is already a bit of trading within red dead you can already hunt animals and you can already sell them to go and make money with the bounty hunter role you can already go to gang hideouts get gang ambushes you can kill people as well as save people you can lasso people stall them on the back of the horse and go and transport them places but with the collector role it's slightly different you can already go and pick up herbs as well as jewelry and you can go and get some health cures in chess and you could go and collect that but realistically you end up using it health cures you obviously use for your health you go and use jewelry to go and sell at the fence and then also with the herbs you end up just either using it for a recipe or going to sell at the doctors realistically there's not too much of an element of collecting you're just picking up and just using it for something else so to get prepared for the collector role is a bit harder than getting prepared for the bounty hunter or going to get prepared for the trader role with that said though i have managed to go and get three very small tips that will help you out a bit once this collector role drops the first thing that you want to do is go and head all the way over to the fence go over to tools and then go and buy yourself a lock breaker this has been a thing that's been in red dead online since day one i bought it on day one thinking that i'll definitely go and use it i have not used it once within red dead online i have used it a few times within the story mode though and the lock breaker does exactly what it says it breaks locks but it means that you can do things stealthily as a collector the chances of you going through different chests and having to unlock lock different chests is very high and I think the lock breaker would be a perfect purchase now to go and get ready for the collector role. We also know that the summer update is going to be a massive update. We already know about the collector, the trader and also the bounty hunter role but not many people are looking at the stuff that is currently within Red Dead that Rockstar might end up building on. There will probably be more dynamic events. We already know with the bounty hunter role that there will be moments where you'll just be traveling and then all of a sudden you'll come across a bounty and then at that point it pretty much sounds like another version of a dynamic event. You may have cases where you are a collector and you need to go and get a chest, but there is a gang hideout in that location. What would definitely save you time is if you can break that lock silently and then just run away instead of having to go and kill everyone and then go and get this chest. The next thing that you can do isn't really something that you could do within game, but more about you as a person and remembering set locations where there are already chests. Rockstar have already said that there will Will be other items coming to this game and they will be stored in chest wardrobes and drawers as well as anything else that could be used to go and store items if you start to jot down certain locations where you know there's a lot of chests but there isn't anything in those chests then that is a good thing for you because that means if you jot it down now you know exactly where to go when this collector roll drops because there may be a chance that something special will be added to those wardrobes drawers or even chests two locations that i think will be very good to go and loot some items would be at the top of Mount Hagen as well as going all the way over to Braithwaite Manor. At the top of Mount Hagen there is a gang hideout as well as a mine and then you also have on top of that you're able to go and get a nice little camp where you're able to go to a wooden shack and at the top of that wooden shack you're able to go and get a chest which will have a coin sack in. This is the only location I believe within Red Dead Online or the only location that I've came across where you can go and get a coin sack from the chest. It is only 20 25 cents it's not one of those things where it's worth to go into a lobby go and get this coin sack going back out of a lobby go into a new lobby and then go and rinse and repeat this trying to get the money over and over again not worth it because it is only 25 cents but this is the only location i have ever came across to do with coin sack we also have the braithwaite manor there are a ton of different chests as well as storage to go and have items in them but there is no items in any of the chests any of the drawers any of the wardrobes what whatsoever within Braithwaite Manor. You can go and get a few items that's just laying on the side, but they're not actually in the chest. There has to be something that will be added to those chests as well as storage 
within the Brave Wait Manor as soon as this collector roll drops. Now those are just two different locations, but jot down as many different locations as you can think of where there's a number of different places where there is storage to go and store an item. Because when this collector roll drops, you might have a place where there's something extremely rare to go and get. The third and final tip I've got for you guys is a bit of a risk and it may not apply to every single one of you because it depends on how much you play as well as how lucky you are as a player. So I've been getting a lot of treasure maps recently and I've started to think that it might be a good idea to stock up on these treasure maps. I'm not 100% sure how many treasure maps you can store at one single moment but I'm going to stack up on as many treasure maps as I can and wait for this summer update to drop and then go into the collector roll and see if I can get anything else out of these treasure maps. Treasure maps as they stand right now are actually very good. You can get around about one gold bar and you can get around about $100. Very good money and very good gold at this stage within Red Dead. But what might happen is once this summer update drops, you might also be able to go and get something else out of those chests. As I already spoke on the previous tip, Rockstar have already said the chests as well as other storage will be getting filled with other unique and different items. So it could be the exact same thing with treasure maps, which means by saving the treasure maps now, you're probably going to get around about $100, you'll get one gold bar, and then that's that. Still very good for now, but once the summer update drops, you might be able to go and get $100, you might be able to go and get one gold bar, and you might be able to go and get one or two gold teeth as well as something else, maybe a unique item that could be taken to the collector, and then you can go and sell that on. Now, I'm not saying that this is 100% going to happen, but myself, I'm willing to take the risk. So between now and when the summer update drops, any treasure map that I get, I'm just going to be saving, going to be storing in my satchel and wait until that summer update drops and then I'll be going through the treasure map. To me, I don't think I'm going to lose out on too much even if I'm wrong because I'll still have the treasure map and I cannot see Rockstar going to reduce the amount of money or the amount of gold that you get for going to do these treasure maps. Because it's something to do with economy, I would have seen Rockstar doing this months and months ago within Red Dead. They haven't, so I feel like they're happy with the state of treasure maps of how much money and also how much gold they give out for going to complete. But anyway guys, those are three very small tips that you guys could go and use to go and prepare for this collector role for Red Dead. By going through these tips, you're either going to save yourself time, which means you can go straight into that collector role when it drops and go and start it as soon as possible. Or it's going to save you money, which you can then use that money to go and reinvest and get even more money as well as get more use out of the new upgrades, the new ability cards and all of that good stuff to do with the collector role. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.